guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my top 10 ways to cure homesickness. Because when you're on a gap year, that is actually a real thing and I myself have had to experience it. So I thought I'd make a video for you today explaining how to fix it. You know. So, uh, let's just get started. Okay, so number 10 is bringing photos from home and displaying them somewhere in your room. I put mine next to my bed so that's the last thing I see when I fall asleep and the first thing I see when I wake up. I have a Polaroid camera which makes it easy for me to capture my friends and family before I left. But it also means that I can add to my wall as the year goes on. And to everyone who's on my wall, I love and miss you so much. Number 9 is writing a letter home. Nothing beats a handwritten letter in the mail and this one was actually to my little sister, India, who just turned 17. So happy birthday baby cakes! Actually, in the background you can even see a letter my granny sent me. I actually cried when I got it. No joke. Okay, this slightly contradicts my last point, but number 8 is checking in home via text. There's something about texting that makes it feel like you're really close, geographically speaking, to the other person. Number seven is writing down a funny story about your family. One of my favourites is when my dad was walking around the pool backwards passing a netball to me. He accidentally fell into the water with his phone and wallet in his pocket. But lucky for us, Australians have plastic money unlike this monopoly money I have to deal with over here. So no financial loss. This story always makes me laugh. <laughs> Such a classic dad story. Number six is from when you're feeling really down. I suggest finding a quiet spot like this swing and just contemplating life for a bit. Or, if you've watched way too much High School Musical, you can just dance your problems away. Number five is doing something that reminds you of home. For me, it's scrambled eggs. Mum always made them for me when I wasn't feeling well. Plus, they're delicious. So we're just adding three eggs, giving them a bit of a whisk. Ooh, whisky whisky. Now we're adding some milk and some salt and some oil to the pan. And some egg to that oil in the pan. And we are moving the egg about. It's rocket science. Then we're putting the bread in the toaster. And getting the bread out and buttering these babies up. And then we're just cutting them like my mommy does. Then we're serving the eggs. And voila! Scrambled eggs! Number four is making a list of all the positive things that you're gaining from being away from your family and on a gap year. Guys, I don't believe in negative attitudes towards anything in life. And if you're beginning to see your gap year as a negative thing, then it's really important that you focus on those things that you've written down. Because yoga, you only gap once. Number three I actually discovered whilst being over here. Looking back at old photos and videos on your phone is something that you would usually take advantage of at home. But over here, these photos shine a new light. Number two is carrying something personal with you that reminds you of home. Mine is a Polaroid of my beautiful sister and I the night I graduated from high school. Whenever I look at it, it reminds me to keep my head up when the going gets tough. Plus, it's also a convenient bookmark. And finally, number one is to use the magical program known as Skype. Nothing beats seeing your family and friends who are on the other side of the globe from you and catching up on each other's lives. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
uh, stay tuned for next week's video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Same as if you liked me and this channel, please subscribe. Uh, all my links are in the down bar. And I will see you next.